Hi y'all, here's some things to remember about your CSV 1A valve. With any of our valves, you want to make sure that there's nothing between your pump and the CSV 1A. This is a pump control valve and it can't control the pump if water is getting out before the valve. Things that we do not want between the pump and the CSV 1A are water lines, tee off, or water usages. A water usage would include faucets, spigots, hydrants, irrigation, sprinklers, or the pressure tank. If any of these things fall between the pump and where you're wanting to install the valve, you'll need to move the valve to a location that is before that tee off or water usage. Getting the valve before water usages helps guarantee that you'll have constant water pressure across all water usage on your system. You can install the CSV 1A below the freeze level if needed. Just make sure that you use a valve box. This valve cannot be buried. It needs to breathe. When you install a pressure relief valve on your system, do not install it between the valve and your pump. Remember, the CSV 1A can't control the pump if water is getting out before the valve. The CSV 1A is a valve that we would recommend installing in crawl spaces, basements, well houses, and the like. With any of our valves, be mindful that while this valve does doesn't vent to atmosphere, things can happen and we do not recommend installing this where water might become an issue. Water quality is less of an issue with the CSV-1A. The stainless steel body of the valve can hold up to lots of things. Keep in mind that debris in your water can gum up the inner workings and sand can shorten the lifespan of the inner workings of the CSV-1A. The CSV-1A is a repairable valve and you can see how to repair the valve in our other video. The CSV-1A is adjustable and makes this valve easy to work with when using a pressure tank that is larger than 20 gallons. See our video on how to set the valve and where to set it with a larger pressure tank. The CSV-1A is best suited for use on pumps that are under 2 horsepower and pump less than 25 gallons per minute. You do want to keep in mind friction loss and reduced pressure fall off with the CSV-1A. For a full explanation of reduced pressure fall off and friction loss, head on over to our video page. When installing the CSV-1A, keep in mind that this valve has one inch female threaded inlet and outlets as well as inch and a quarter male threaded inlet and outlet. You can use whichever thread will benefit your system. You can use reducer bushings to make the transition to larger or smaller piping if needed. This will have no ill effects on how the CSV-1A will function. When you're sealing threads during installation, make sure to use Teflon tape. Using glues or putties to seal threads can actually gum up the important inner workings of the CSV-1A if not properly dry before water is turned back on. If you have questions, please call or email us at the number and email below. If you use our product already and you love it, let us know and leave us a review. We look forward to hearing from you.